Hi, my name is Mikołaj Czerkowski and it is my pleasure to introduce the work of mine and my fellow authors on neural weight step video compression. In this work, we propose a set of experiments to explore the potential of compressing video by parameterizing it as neural networks and a technique of neural weight step compression for encoding image sequences. The recent years have brought about a number of approaches employing deep neural networks for compression of videos. However, most of these methods will learn to encode input signals into a latent compressor representation with the hope that it can generalize from the training dataset to encode video data in real-world scenarios. An interesting alternative we wish to explore and evaluate is to encode the video signal as a neural network, optimized directly to produce that specific signal. So, how do we parameterize video as neural networks? A fairly prominent approach from the recent years for representing 2D images is to optimize a convolutional neural network to map from a fixed random noise input to the target image, as described in the works on Deep Image Prior. Alternatively, we can train an NLP network to transform coordinate input into individual output values for that coordinate, in a manner similar to the lately popular neural radiance fields. These two schemes have most often been employed for encoding images. So, what are the best ways to expand this into video domain? For the CNN approach, we can either increase the number of output channels to account for the complete sequence or employ a 3D CNN architecture altogether, but these design choices will not scale well with the number of video frames. If we want to preserve the efficiency of 2D convolutional kernels, we can define the random noise input as a sequence of tensors, each optimized to produce a single frame. For the coordinate-based MLP, we can add a temporal dimension as the third coordinate. So what happens when we try to encode a video of 150 frames into a CNN using the static noise sequence approach? Well, a set of preliminary results shows that it is fairly difficult to converge, especially with the smaller network in the bottom. Both networks are still 3 and 30 times larger than the size of H264 encoded video. This is what motivates the neural weight step compression technique proposed in this work. The objective is to learn an anchor reference network theta0, representing a single 2D image of the anchor frame i0. Then, the subsequent frames are encoded as changes made to the theta0. Further, the goal is to make these changes highly compressible by enforcing sparsity of the output. We propose a set of experiments to evaluate each method and compare it to established video codecs and other neural video compression methods. Please visit our poster if you want to learn more.